good morning from Anchor Wat before first light. We're gonna try and catch the purple sun today. One thing uh, we didn't plan for is that there would be no lights leading up to Anchor Wat right now, so a flashlight might have been a good idea. And I mean, we travel with three flashlights, so I don't know why we didn't think to bring one of them with us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go try and catch first light at Anchor Wat. <laughs> it is. 5.49, so we have 15 minutes before our first light today. It was super pretty, but it was basically what we saw a couple of days ago. And one of the tour guides that was next to us the other day was showing off pictures of the sky all purple. And I think that's fake news because we've been here twice and we haven't seen the purple sky. From overhearing tour guides, my conspiracy theory is that they have a bunch of Photoshop pictures of purple sky and then they share it with the people in their tour group and the people in their tour group share it online and with their friends. So you think that there's a purple sky, but it was just photoshopped in the first place. Finally found the best view on our way out. The sunset was pretty cool. Um, this is our second time seeing sun, sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> it's too early for this. Um, so this is our second time seeing sunrise at Anchor Wat and it was pretty cool. We've kind of been burning the candle from both ends for the last couple of days and I think it's catching up with us. Um, I was feeling a little sick a couple days ago when we first came here and that was after a bad night of sleep. And then after a good night of sleep I was feeling great yesterday, I didn't feel any symptoms. But today again I'm feeling some mild flu symptoms. Um, but luckily it's very mild so I think that some sleep will get me fixed up. And we're both feeling pretty sore from walking and crashing yeah i think like i was already sore yesterday and then we got into that um accident <laughs> <laughs> and yeah this like my the part that i fell on is really sore and it's hard to walk too even going up the steps oh well we'll recover you know. mm -hmm. at least we're still young <laughs> i know and like not very fit but like kind of <laughs> at least now i'm being <laughs> I like to think. <laughs> so I think we're gonna head back to the hotel and try to get some sleep and uh, we'll see you later for something. Good afternoon from a much better rested Moses and Yami. Good uh, afternoon. Good morning. No. We went back and slept for another four hours and it felt great. It is now 2.30, so we're gonna go grab some food because we're pretty hungry. All we had this morning was half a baguette and uh, some other pastry. So there's a good looking noodle place at the end of our street that we're gonna go check out. It's I know, is it fried noodles or fajitas? We came to a fried noodle and dumpling restaurant. I ordered noodle soup um, with chicken and it has bean sprouts, which I love because they're so crunchy and it's got veggies. I also added some chili, chili sauce, and chili flakes. And I got fried noodles with tofu and egg. This looks so good. That's really good. It has so much flavor to it. Just home. Well, again, like many other dishes we've had here, it doesn't feel like they've added a bunch of stuff to flavor it. They just bring up the natural flavors that are in the food that they add to it and enhance with that. And you always have to add your own chili here because they don't make it like spicy, which is fine. We tend to have this issue because I'm left handed and he's right handed. <laughs> it's been four years and we always sit in the same spots and we always bump into each other. <laughs> 
That was a fantastic meal. And we met a wonderful woman from Connecticut who made our day, honestly. Yeah. Uh, she saw us recording while we were eating and asked if we had a YouTube channel and we got to chatting. And turns out she started traveling for her 60th birthday and fell in love with it. And she's been traveling for 14 months since. So. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, we've been traveling like this for like a month. It's the 15th. We've been traveling for exactly one month. Exactly a month? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. So she has 13 months on us and uh, she's well traveled and she's a wonderful woman. Made our day. So if you're watching, shout out to you. Hi. Hopefully we cross paths in the future. We just picked up some drinks from a convenience store. And it was stupid cheap there compared to 7-Eleven and everywhere else we've seen, so we'll be making the block and a half walk over there whenever we need stuff. Um, but something kind of neat that we noticed on our way there is that every business also has a different business. Like pretty much every place also has a refrigerator full of drinks or they have like a scooter rental place will also have like a little convenience store. A like restaurant. A restaurant, <laughs> yeah. Every business has a secondary or tertiary business even going on. I mean, you already have the business space, I guess might as well maximize. I like how they think. That's how you gotta be in business. Uh -huh. Business. Business. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> For the first time on our trip, it is raining in Asia. Woo! Yeah. Mm, you in Cambodia in Love the rain. Cambodia. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> It does not rain back home, so when we see rain, we go crazy for it. We get so excited. And I didn't believe that it was going to rain today because most days it says it's going to rain and then it doesn't. But all of a sudden it got really gray and started pouring. <laughs> the manager brought us some Cambodian cakes. Never had these before, so let's give it a try. So this is the mystery one. There's two banana ones, but this is a mystery cake. Yeah, so this one has banana, I think, and then it has like... It looks like sticky rice. <gasps> oh, no way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, that's sticky rice. Oh, it's giving me flashbacks to Thailand. <laughs> And these banana ones are actually a different kind of banana I've never tried. Um, we're just used to the Cavendish back home. Um, but this is a different type of banana and it's really good. Mm -hmm. I love the sticky rice. All I need is some coconut milk. I lost my glasses this morning and I'm kind of sad about it. I've had those for four years now. Um, I'm hoping that they turn up somewhere around our hotel room. Anyways. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, so it rained. Um, we were able to enjoy a very heavy rainfall while we were working. Uh, we were hanging out in our hotel lobby because the internet's a little bit better there. And it rained really, really hard. And it's really nice. It's the first time we saw rain in a very long time. And we got a free snack out of the deal. Yeah, it gave a little bit of tech support to our hotel manager. And they reward us with some free dessert. We're heading out to grab some food right now back at the night market. But there's a stuff market next to it, and I'm in need of a string or something for my pants because my nice, comfortable, flowy pants, uh, the string just broke on them. And uh, <laughs> I need those because it's way too hot and humid for jeans over here. It turns out it's just a tourist trinket market, and every store sells pretty much the same thing. So wonder how that works. But it is time to get some food, so let's go get some food. Yes, we are eating at our new street cart today. $3. Thank you. I wanted something new today, so I tried... Hey, hey, what you do with that bear? <laughs> I want something new today, so I went with some yellow noodle soup, courtesy of Siri. There were three things on the menu that looked really good, so I let Siri decide what I was having. And this is what she picked. I ordered a spicy curry soup with coconut and it also comes with rice. I think it has, oh this has vegetables and that has potato. I've discovered coconut curry soup in Southeast Asia and it is amazing so I want to thank 
the whole countries for introducing this to me. This is different than the red curries that I've had. It's still pretty good. It's like yellow curry. Um, it's definitely on the sweeter side, so I'm definitely gonna add cheese. But pretty good. It's going to be raining all day, and it caught us as we're eating. So Moses is holding an umbrella, and we have this to protect us in the meantime. They're so helpful here. The moment it started raining, they they got us covered. The first bite of that curry soup, I was like, oh, this is really sweet. I don't know. It's because there's pineapple in it, and I thought it was potato, so I was expecting the different taste. It ended up being really good, though, as long as I wasn't eating the pineapple. And the lady was nice enough to provide me more rice. Mm -hmm. And an umbrella, and a seat out of the rain for me. Yeah. <laughs> Great experience here. all around. Yeah. They really go out of their way to make your experience, like eating at the restaurant, enjoyable. We are going to wrap it up right here because we are both exhausted and our legs are really hurting. Uh, so <laughs> it's been a lot of days of a lot of walking and uh, we're still feeling waking up too early today. So we're probably going to sleep in just a little bit tomorrow. But we'll see you all then. We'll see you. Bye.